We are testing all the humidity things today. <laughs> Bloom can grow YouTube show. I got some toys that we are going to review today regarding plant care. You might have seen while like creeping on your Instagram friends or anything like that or other plant tubers, hygrometers and uh, moisture meters, hygrometers, sorry, that's how you pronounce these. Um, in like people's posts and I've been seeing them a lot and I've been super curious about them I've never used these tools before so I decided to go on Instagram pull you guys about what brands you like to use order a few and do some tests so I am getting super curious about humidity when um, it comes to my plant collection I feel like as a next level plant parent like starting to get sensitive about humidity and like actually maybe tinkering with it is a fun way to set your plants up for success and also like your body is up for success because man I mean our homes can get dry in the winter and most of the questions that I get from you guys our listeners is how important is humidity how do I measure humidity? Am I watering my plants correctly? How do I water my plants? And both of these tools address those issues. So I figured, why don't we learn about them together? Because I'm still figuring it out. So we've got two products, a moisture meter and a hygrometer. So let's start with the moisture meter. Now I have two brands of each and I'm gonna review the products, how I've used them, what works, what doesn't, and if there's like a winner of the brand. So let's start with the moisture meter because I feel like this is um, honestly less exciting as the hygrometer, 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 hygrometer for me. So I went on Instagram a couple weeks ago and I polled you guys about what brands you use and what products you use for measuring your moisture and measuring your humidity. And it was really interesting. People were super excited about talking about the hygrometers and the humidity measurers. People were really mixed about these. Um, I think that there's definitely room for improvement with moisture meters in general. Um, they obviously are this like probe that you use to insert into the soil and it tells you how moist the soil is and whether or not it's time to water, which is really useful. But um, I had previously bought moisture meters that never worked. These are my third and fourth moisture meters that I've purchased and these are the first ones that have actually worked. So, and I got a lot of people messaging me on Instagram about that. So I would assume that there's probably just room for improvement here. I will say both of these products do work. This is Son Cure. I have the box, Son Cure. It's a three-in-one soil moisture, light, and pH tester. And then this brand is Hydrofarm. So from the two of them, they both essentially do the same thing. I mean, one's square and one's round, but they both have the two different probes that you stick in the soil and they're both about the same size. The sun here is a little bit longer. Um, the only difference, they both measure moisture and pH. I have no interest in learning about the pH of my soil right now, so maybe one day I will, but we're not going to talk about that much. And the interesting thing with the sun here is it also has a little light sensor, so it's a tiny little light sensor right here. So I have to say, I've enjoyed having the presence of one of these and actually the presence of two of these in my plant collection. I do think that it's a fun tool to have in your toolkit for when you get confused. I wouldn't say that I like live or die by these measurements. Um, we're gonna go do an experiment together. These are rather close in the way they measure. Okay, welcome to my bathroom where I have filled two of two plants in the same pot. One I just watered, um, this beautiful one. Um, this one is completely dry, so I wanted to zoom in and show you guys what both meters next to each other look like um, with their very similar readings. We've got both meters in the dry pot right now. As you can see, the Sankir is reading dry. The um, Hydro Farm is reading maybe a little bit wetter, but they're both definitely in the dry zone. So both of them, both of them have like this red section that's dry, green section that's moist, and then blue that's wet. So now I'm gonna move them over to the wet pot. So now the Hydro Farm and the Sun Cure are both in the wet pot. I shifted them over. And the Hydro Farm one is reading like on the moist, it's reading like right at the end of the green moist section, but not at the wet. The Sun Cure is reading at the wet. So I would actually say that I think the Sun Cure is gonna win the measurements um, because this pot literally was just watered, so it should be reading like totally wet. 
I played around with the light meter a little bit on the Sunkier. It's definitely sensitive to light when I hold it closer to my, um, you know, when I hold it closer to a light source, the needle moves and, and when I pull it away from the light source, the needle reduces. This measures light in lumens and I have been trying to use other light meter apps to like test it and right now it's rather inconclusive. So I don't think I will use the light measuring possibility on this. I think I'm really just going to use these guys for measuring the moisture in the soil. Um, I'm finding with smaller pots my finger works better. <laughs> so I think there's two ways that this works nicely. One is aeration. This is a beautiful instrument with two probes to aerate your soil. If you have super dry soil that needs to be kind of broken up, this is a very gentle way to get into your plant's pot and aerate the soil. I'll show you. So if you've got this thing and you're, you've let your pot, you know, dry out a little bit too much, or it's been in the same soil for a long time, you can kind of stick it in very gently give it a little shake and that's a really nice way to aerate your soil and frankly I've been using these as soil aerators as much as I've been using them as moisture meters. The one thing I will say with this plant in particular this is a nice sized plant I would say this is like an eight eight inch pot. The top is bone dry I watered it like two days ago the top is dry I think a plant parent that doesn't know better might just feel the top of the soil and immediately say oh the top of the soil is dry let's water it. The beauty of a moisture meter is for larger pots you can stick the moisture meter all the way down and the moisture meter is telling me that the bottom of the pot is still moist and that's where the majority of the roots are so I don't want to water this thing yet even though intuitively if I had just maybe touched the top of the soil in the pot I would water. So this is where I think the larger pots that we have if you've got larger pots these things are awesome. I mean, I know that people don't like, some people don't like them, but I'm into it for the larger pots. So in terms of a comparison of which one will win, because the Sankir's probes are just a little bit longer, I guess I'm going to give it to Sankir. However, I'm probably not going to use the light meter on it, and I'm not using the pH on either of them. I could order either, I mean, I would order either of these or recommend either of these. I will give the slight win to sun care because the probes are just a little bit longer and if I'm gonna use them to also aerate my soil in my big pots, length is always nice. So congratulations, sun care. But super fun tool to have in your toolkit. Um, also, I would love any suggestions for any moisture meters that you guys use that you like and especially ones that are maybe like pretty because <laughs> these are rath rather industrial. However, they get the job done. Okay, next thing that I am excited to talk about is hygrometers, which I've been calling hygrometers for the last two weeks. Now these things I think are pretty cool. I have seen these on the Instagrams of a lot of my plant friends in their Ikea cabinets or Daryl from House Plant Journal has them all over his house and I finally decided to ask someone what the hell they are. So hygrometers measure the temperature of your room and your humidity percentage of your room. I learned a lot <laughs> through ordering these. I ordered two brands. One is called Therm Pro and one is called Go V. Now the Go V version is a little bit smaller as you can see. They both measure temperature and humidity. However, the Go V syncs with your Bluetooth app. They have like a Bluetooth Go V app. It can sync and records the humidity over time. That's kind of cool. Um, something that was interesting that I learned about humidity only through reading the manuals of these guys is ideal humidity for humans is between 30 and 60 percent and both of these companies say that so actually both products have a little smiley face read system where um, you see a little smiley face for if it's between 30 and 60 degrees 60 percent humidity um, and then there's a frowny face that shows up if it's 0 to 30 or 61 to 100 and I thought that was kind of funny um, but it makes you think that like humidity is also important for y us humans and our lungs and our bodies and our skin um, in addition to our plants. And I have realized that the home that I am currently living in is freaking dry. We stick around 28% every day. That's not good for me. I mean, I wake up like, uh, you know, when you wake up in the morning and you're just like, uh, I need water. I wake up like that a lot. So, um, 
I think for me, just like raising the humidity for myself will be good. But also think about our plants. They're living in these tropical jungles that are between like 70 to 90% humidity. And then I'm forcing them to be in my dry ass home. That's not fair. Um, so here are some things that I've learned about these guys. In terms of like the variation between the two of them, I actually think that these are more different than the moisture meters. Besides the fact that you can do Bluetooth with the Gobi, something that I've noticed is I bought two of each. So these two live in my bedroom, right above a radiator actually. The temperature ranges between like 68 to like 72 degrees and the humidity is around 28 to like 32 degrees, 32%. I also took the same two, not the same two, but I took their sister and brother and I put them in my bathroom. This is something where it's very interesting. So right now, the read between these two, Govi says it's 34% humidity, humidity, humidity. Therm Pro says it's 37%. When I take these measurements in the two that I have in my bathroom, the Therm Pro is much more sensitive than the Govi. So after a shower where obviously it's extremely humid, the Therm Pro will read like sometimes 10% higher than the Go-V. I only bought two of these, so I don't really know which one's right. <laughs> so I've just been kind of like splitting the difference. Um, I've actually enjoyed having both of these next to each other. It's been like really fun <laughs> to just constantly be like checking. It's been fun like checking it before I get in my shower every day and then after. Um, so I actually think I'm going to order both of these again and have little setups all throughout my house um, so that over the next couple of months after I move, um, I'll be able to kind of get a good read for the humidity and then probably start incorporating humidifiers into my space to up the humidity because when you look at the science, humidifiers are really the only way to like significantly improve your humidity of large rooms if that's what you're looking for. In terms of a comparison, I will give Govi the win for this because I think it's cool that it syncs with Bluetooth. Um, but I also, Therm Pro is the more sensitive one and maybe that's the right one. I don't really know. So I, like I said, I'm gonna keep these two brothers and sisters together and continue figuring it out. If you guys have moisture meters or hygrometers like this that you suggest, please put them below. And if you have like fun, weird things that you do to like alter your humidity or measure your humidity, please let me know because this is something I'm super curious about and really excited to dive into in our next home um, and report back. I hope this was fun. Um, if you have other types of planty products that you would want reviews on, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be happy to make more of these types of videos because this was really fun for me. I love kind of nerding out and being a sleuth and, and figuring it out. And also I do feel like this, I, I have a much better understanding for just like the air quality of my home after this experiment. Um, and I definitely would suggest getting one of these. If you had to pick a moisture meter or a humidity meter, I would say start with this and then get a moisture meter as well. But Amazon affiliate codes for me are in the show notes. Please click them if you are going to buy um, because a portion of the profits go to Bloom and Grow. So you support Bloom and Grow while supporting your planty passion. And also please be a plant friend and like this video and subscribe so I can keep making more videos for you and helping you keep blooming and keep growing. <laughs>